All right, we're going to take a look at the unit circle, what it is, and the relationship between an arc length measured on the unit circle and an angle measured in the unit circle. So I have a picture here of the unit circle. It is a circle of radius 1, and its center is at the origin of the coordinate plane. So this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. And when we talk about angles and arc lengths, on this unit circle we're going to be measuring from the positive x-axis over here in particular this is the ordered pair 1 comma 0 right because we know it's 1 away from the origin since the radius is 1 okay so the relationship between arc lengths and angles let's take a look at the circumference of this unit circle uh, because arc length is the circumference is an arc length. It's a, it's a distance along the edge of the circle. So the circumference of this circle, since its radius is 1, the circumference we know is 2 pi times the radius. And if the radius is 1, the circumference is simply 2 pi. Now, in particular, if you give your radius a unit, we know it's one, but usually we'll measure a length with a unit, so maybe one foot, right? Then the circumference would be two pi feet. Your unit would be feet as well because it's a unit of distance. Two pi is two times three point one four one five blah 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 blah. So it's a little two times pi is a little bigger than six. All right. Now the angle inside. So let's let's look at this, okay? So this exaggerated blue line here represents the circumference, the total distance around the circle, which is represented by 2 pi, and some unit of distance, which in this case is feet. Now let's look at the angle for one complete revolution of the unit circle. The angle, as we know, in radians of a complete circle is 2 pi radians. And so the nice thing about a circle of radius 1 is if the radius is 1, then the circumference is 2 pi, and the angle is also 2 pi. What this means is the circumference and the total angle are equal. In fact, in the unit circle, an arc length equals its central angle. Now they don't have the same unit. The angle's got to be in radians and the arc length has to be the same unit of distance as the radius, okay? Because this is a distance and this is an angle. So the units have to be correct. The value of them will be the same. Let's look at an example. So here, my radius is one foot. I'm on the unit circle. My arc length is 1.7 feet. So what do I mean by the, the central angle? If I were to mark from where my arc length ends down to the center of the circle, and then consider just like this sector here, this circular sector, then the central angle would be the angle right here that corresponds to this arc length, and this angle would be 1.7 rads. Okay, so the angle and the arc length are equal. And this seems to make sense as well, because we know to calculate the number of radians, you divide the arc length by the radius. 1.7 divided by 1 is 1.7. Okay, so in the unit circle, the angle and the arc length are equal. And lots of times, uh, the arc length is denoted with the letter S or the letter T. So keep that in mind in several books. It doesn't matter what it's labeled with. I'm just pointing this out. And the angle is typically measured with theta. Okay, you just have to understand this is in radians. So arc length and angle are equal in the unit circle.